Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm out here today in the early morning with another knife review for you. Today I have this knife. This is a, well, it's a hunting folder from Fox Knives Italy, or just a general folding outdoors knife. All right, let me give you a closer look. So your knife is going to come in a box like this, all right? Fox Knives, let's see the official item number. All right, so that's the name of it. So this is the Fox Knives Forest 576ML, made in Italy. Uh, yeah, I like Fox Knives. I have, a, I have some of their karambits, actually. And it also comes with this belt pouch. Here is a comparison with an older model of Buck 110. Right, that's my trusty Buck 110 Echo Light. So these knives have the same idea. All right, hunting or general outdoors folders. As you can see, uh, the Italian knife, it's, it's basically wider, thicker, uh, with a fuller handle. Yeah, they don't make that buck anymore. They make other versions of it, of course. But yeah, they should bring that one back. That was, in, that was a, a nicer one. Uh, we've got, uh, we got a few cloud bursts. Yeah, we're having intermittent showers. I don't know if you can hear that. We're going to continue anyway, because I don't think it's going to be a sustained rain at all. Check out that polished micarta, right? Polished canvas micarta handle scales on this. The handle is extra thick, which gives you a good grip. This is good for people with large hands. It really gives you a, a safe and positive grip. Now the blade length on this is three and three quarters inches. A modified clip point, lots of belly for slicing as you would expect. It opens like so. All right, and it does lock up very securely. Okay, hunting knife from Fox Knives Italy. How's the edge? All right, so there you go. Okay, so we have here some chuck steak, all right? Some chuck steak. Now, uh, you know, this is not like a strenuous test, but it is a practical test because uh, this is literally my lunch. I'm, I'm just eating this for lunch, right? So that's what, that's what we have on the menu. That's what we're gonna cut. Now, I don't usually cut it into pieces this small, I just cut it a little so that it can fit in the pan because uh, basically I brown this in a pan, then I cook it through. Okay, so chuck steak. It's a cheaper cut of steak, but it tastes good to me. All right, so there you go. Now, of course, with sharp steel versus soft flesh, the steel always wins, right? But it's a hunting knife. You're going to be cutting up meat. So there you go. All right, so I'm gonna go cook this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, YouTube, well, it's lunchtime and uh, you know, this is not gonna look particularly wonderful because it's basically just some hunks of meat, right? But um, you know, we have, we have some chuck steak. I added uh, ginger, onion powder, garlic powder, but uh, there's no side dishes, there's no sauce, right? So this, you're not gonna win any food channel competitions with this, but it's going to taste good. I eat chuck steak all the time. So this knife had actually been on my radar for many months. I just really just like the appearance of it. Now about the steels, I've actually seen this knife available in at least three different steels. Okay, this is the N690CO, but I know I've seen this with 440C, and I know I've seen these with one of the Sandvik steels. Okay, so if you find one of these in a store, make sure that you check exactly which steel uh, that model is using, right? But this one is the one that's available on US Amazon right now. So that is what I got. When you have a knife on the belt of a hunter, its task is, well, it could be to slice up whatever he hunted, but it's also just for all sorts of mundane cutting chores that an outdoorsman might encounter, right? So if you're a hunter, maybe you're just making camp, 
right? So you might be cutting cordage or any, any bushcrafty type tasks as well. The purpose of a folder in the outdoors or the benefits, you know, it's the same benefit as a folder in an urban setting, uh, convenience, right? Just convenience. It folds up. Cutting some paracord, cutting a strap, we've got stretchy bike tire tubing, so ranger bands, we've got a piece of a box, you can definitely whittle with this thing. Yeah, it's real pleasant now. We're gonna have crazy humidity later in the day, so I'm, I'm gonna be, I'll be inside by then. I'll be watching videos uh, with you. Uh, so you need to sharpen a pencil or something. This will suffice. All right, piece of firewood, I already carved one end so we'll carve the other end hope you're all doing awesome these days these days of trouble and tribulation me personally I do better during times of conflict that's just me you know I do better during conflict perhaps my dad would also uh, agree that he does better he's a Vietnam veteran but uh I've always said I'm great at conflict. It's it's peace. It's uh, what to do in peacetime that I'm not good at. Carve that. All right, YouTube. The wind is picking up. Right, we got intermittent rain and wind. I'm glad it rained on me. I'm glad I wore this. All right, YouTube. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this knife. I'm digging it. I'm glad I picked it up. It was a little expensive, but hey, if, if you want that Italian quality and you're in America, hey, you gotta pay for it, right? But yeah, if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe. I'm out.